Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another of my short, short stories from the book I'm working on called Dark. This story is called Behind Doors Number 1, 2, and 3. I sat in my usual spot at The Graduate, the appropriately named Berkeley dive bar that catered to 20-somethings that preferred to drink and maybe think in a quiet rather than pounding bar. At some point, a guy must have sat next to me, but I didn't notice him. I was thinking, now what? I had graduated six months ago, did the cliched trip, Europe plus Nepal, and came back no clearer on a career direction, let alone a path to enlightenment. I sat with my Long Island iced tea, the drink that gives the most buzz per buck. Oozing into my softened brain was an image of three doors, like in the old TV game show Let's Make a Deal. And the host, Monty Hall, said, For you, a special deal. I'll show you what's behind all three doors. The catch is, you have to figure out which is actually best for you. Behind door number one? writer. I picture my debut book, Handled, about how good people become bad politicians because of their handlers. It won the National Book Award and then Nobel Peace Prize, and I was interviewed on both CNN and Fox, the New York Times, and Wall Street Journal. The book sold 10 million copies, and I donated 95% of the profits to the Foundation for Ethical Government. Or, I spend five years procrastinating, and finally I get the book done, but the agents and publishers ghost me. So I'm working at a cafe, including cleaning the toilets, and even with two roommates, I can't make the rent, so I'm homeless. Behind door number two is Investment Banker. By age 30, I'm legendary for bringing amazing new products to the public. The Z Phone, which makes the iPhone obsolete. Insta House, which builds lovely homes in one day for $20,000. And Vivace, a drug that increases health span by 10 years. I'm worth $50 million and donate 95% to the National Association for Gifted Children. Or, I applied to all 12 first-tier and all 26 second-tier investment banking firms. I got a total of one screening interview and was screened out. I'm now a bank teller. Behind door number three is fundraiser. After taking a few sales courses, I get hired by as an assistant fundraiser at my alma mater. But because I exceeded my annual quota in the first month, I was promoted to fundraiser. When I did it again, I was promoted to trainer of fundraisers. And when my trainees all quickly exceeded their quota, I became the director of development. Then there was a bidding war for me among some of the nation's most prestigious nonprofits. I now make $2 million a year. It was named Fundraiser of the Year by the International Society of Fundraising. Or... The only job I could get after taking those expensive sales courses was as a door-to-door -door solicitor for Save the Snail Darter. Door after door was slammed in my face, and after a month, I had raised only $172. They paid me my $700 base, plus $8.51 in commission, and fired me. I woke from my reverie to finally notice the guy who had been sitting next to me. He said, you look deep in thought. I said, yeah, I've been thinking about what to do with my life. He replied, well, I'm the manager of a soybean processing plant, and I could use an assistant. Are you interested? I said, what the hell? In any case, that story is called Behind Doors, number one, two, and three. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And I certainly would welcome you checking out my book of short, short stories available on Amazon called Soloists, Stories of Introverts and Outsiders Facing a Dilemma. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.